What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing Rec Room, and I'm going to give you a simple tutorial on how to make CV1 and CV2 work together. Just so you know, I didn't get this. Well, I got the idea by the RCL man. I'm not copying mine, it's a totally different thing. So, first thing we want to do is. Now we're gonna, we're gonna get a trigger volume. V1 Legacy. And. Uh, okay. Make sure it keeps track of objects. We don't need uh, any tags for this. So then, we're gonna create a simple cube. To be honest, I can be at him. Place it. Now this isn't gonna, probably isn't gonna work for everything, but I know that it will work. We put it inside the trigger zone. So then we get just a normal trigger volume. Then we place it here. So then this is actually don't actually put the cube in and uh, we're gonna put it over slightly over okay and uh, then we're gonna get then we're gonna get a piston and then we're gonna put it slightly above Air cube, and then we're gonna rotate it. Okay, then we move it slightly above. And then. Then we're gonna do. Player entered. Play. And then. Okay. Uh. We're gonna have to connect something to it, obviously. I'll just I'm just showing you that obviously it does work. Okay, so uh, we're gonna move it to as good as you can get it. Now, we're going to get a clamp. Clamp. And then we're just going to place it right here. Connect. So, play. So then... We're gonna, hang on. We're gonna put this bit to the. Okay, I didn't think there was like separate bits. <laughs> you know what? I have a baby donkey, sorry, look. Oh, sorry. Okay. Welcome to. Okay, yeah, we just do that. And then put that to the top. So now, the cube will go in it. And then it works. So the clamp, the reason why the clamp is connected to that and then that looks for objects. So then once that gets into that trigger zone and then, you know, we can just hide some stuff. Uh, and then you do CV2 and CV1 working together. Watch, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Uh, so just, just move the piston, everything will come with it. And then we move it on top. And so then, what, what we do is, I'm gonna put the max distance, not the five. I'd, I'd say, to be honest, one, 
So then, we are going to move this back, back where it was. So, yeah, so then, once you enter the trigger zone, that will go in, and then I'm gonna make a little animation. I put a video for animations. That was when I started animations, but I'm well better around animations, so I will do a video on that soon. For now, I will just skip to when I'm done the animation. Okay, so as you can see, I just animated Andy Standy. So once I enter this, I'll give that a second, it'll start playing. And that is how, oh, and that is how you animate and make CV1 and CV2 work together in super easy steps. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things, seven items. Okay, I just did Andy Stanley moving, just to show you that it is possible <coughs> to make CV1 and CV2 work together that easily. So, mm -hmm. we have CV2 going to make the CV1 thing work. So then, so then, I just made CV1 and CV2 work together simply. Now I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's pretty easy, I just came up with the idea. So yeah, if you ever want me to teach you anything else, just ask. For now, goodbye.